The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter might be the most expensive fighter aircraft in history, with an estimated cost of over $400 billion, but it's not the most deadly. The title of deadliest fighter goes to this jet, the EA-18G Growler, which can carry out attacks worth billions of dollars just by using its electronic warfare capabilities. It's been called the king of electronic warfare, and even one Growler can wreak havoc in enemy airspace. So how does the Growler compare to other fighters? How much does it cost? And how lethal is it? Let's get into it. The Growler was designed by a team led by Boeing and its development dates back to 1962, when the Navy developed the EA-3B Sky Warrior. This aircraft was specifically designed for the mission of electronic warfare, where it would perform missions that could be very dangerous for other types of aircraft. As such, they needed a new platform that would allow them to operate with little risk to their personnel. Their choice fell on the A3 Sky Warrior, which was modified to carry equipment for electronic warfare. This aircraft would eventually be replaced by the EA-6B Prowler. In the meantime, the Air Force began working on their version of the electronic warfare aircraft, which they based on the F-4 Phantom. In 1978, the Navy received the first EA-6B Prowler which was faster and had better range than the EA-3B. However, it was still not stealthy enough to avoid detection by modern air defense systems. This led to the Navy developing the EA-18G Growler, which was based on the F-18 Hornet. This aircraft entered service in 2007 and is currently the most advanced electronic warfare platform in operation today. So what exactly does the Growler do? Well, its primary purpose is to provide electronic warfare support to carrier strike groups. This includes jamming enemy radar, spoofing their communications, and even destroying enemy air defense systems. The Growler also has some air-to-air -air capabilities, but these are secondary to its electronic warfare role. The Growler is armed with an M61A1 Vulcan 20mm cannon with 480 rounds, AM-9 Sidewinder missiles and the AGM-84E Standoff Land Attack Radar Missile or SOLAR. Its primary weapons, however, are its electronic warfare pods. These can be used to jam enemy radar, spoof their communications, and even destroy their air defense systems. For example, the Growler can carry out a mission called a HORM Raid, which stands for High Orbit Radiation Mission. A HORM raid is a type of attack that uses high-powered microwaves to burn through the circuitry of enemy air defense systems. This can either damage the system beyond repair or make it inoperable for a period of time. Growlers are also equipped with the ability to send out electronic chaff. This is basically a way of confusing enemy air defense systems by sending out a large amount of false targets. Chaff works by scattering small pieces of metal into the air which reflect radar waves and make it difficult for enemy systems to track aircraft. Additionally, Growlers can also carry out missions that involve spoofing enemy communications. This can be used to trick enemy forces into thinking that an attack is coming from a different direction or even to make them think that a friendly aircraft is an enemy aircraft. In terms of the Growlers technology, it's not really stealth but rather low observable. This means that while it's not invisible to radar, it's much harder to detect than other aircraft. The Growler's low observability comes from its design and the materials used to make it. For example, it has special coatings that absorb radar waves instead of reflecting them. It also has special materials in its construction that make it less reflective overall. Despite its low observability, the Growler is still vulnerable to being shot down if it's detected. That's why it's usually flown in pairs with one aircraft carrying out electronic warfare duties and the other providing air cover. The Growler is one of the most important assets in the US military's arsenal. Its ability to jam enemy radar, spoof their communications and destroy their air defense systems makes it a vital part of any carrier strike group. In fact, the Growler is so important that the Navy plans to buy up to 224 of them. The Growler is also used by the U.S. Marine Corps, Air Force and Navy. The Marine Corps has 16 Growlers and uses them in a similar way to the Navy. The Air Force has 50 Growlers and uses them primarily for air defense and intelligence gathering. Now let's talk about the cost of the Growler. It's not cheap. In fact, it's one of the most expensive aircraft in the world. The Growler cost about $150 million per unit. But considering what it can do, that price tag is pretty reasonable. 
The Growler is a highly capable aircraft that can perform missions that would be impossible, or at least extremely risky for other types of aircraft. It's also a very versatile platform that can be used in a variety of different ways. That versatility makes it an asset that's hard to put a price on. So how lethal is the Growler? Well, that depends on how you define lethal. If you're talking about its ability to kill enemy aircraft, then the answer is no. The Growler is not designed to do that. It doesn't have the weapons or the speed to do that. However, if you're talking about its ability to take out enemy air defense systems, then the answer is yes. The Growler can be extremely lethal in that regard. In fact, it's considered to be the best air defense suppression aircraft in the world. The Growler's electronic warfare pods can literally burn through the circuitry of enemy air defense systems, making them useless. Additionally, the Growler's ability to spoof enemy communications can also be extremely dangerous. If the enemy forces are relying on communications to coordinate their air defenses, then the Growler can throw all of that into chaos. So overall, the EA-18G Growler is a highly capable and extremely dangerous aircraft. It may not be able to kill enemy aircraft directly, but it can certainly make their lives a whole lot more difficult, and that's why it's considered to be the king of electronic warfare. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video next on the most powerful plane in the world. And if you love aviation and military technology, don't forget to subscribe for more content.